Hey folks, how you doing? Hope you're well. I've got a great tip I just wanted to share with you. A hack, if you will. And I almost immediately wanted to share this with you because I think it's such a great one. Um, so you've probably seen endless Chris Voom adverts on YouTube. Probably seen a few of those today. For the quad lock, um, yeah, it's an amazing piece of quick kit. You probably found a major issue with the quad lock and, uh, and that is how can I still use it in the rain? So... I bought the quad lock early on this year, and this would be my first autumn and winter uh, using it out outdoors. So there's going to be rain about, and normally I'd stick it in my back pocket. So I thought I could see if I can come up with an idea, cheap and inexpensive solution that I can come up with myself to protect my phone in the rain. This solution is a lot cheaper than the damn quad lock itself. So, uh, and uh, this is it. It's one of these protective cases. I'll drop a link down in the description. This is a typical phone. This is mine, the Android phone. It's a Samsung. It's just one of the universal mounts. So what I did, I got a pair of scissors and simply and carefully cut a hole in it. Now there's a special way to do this. And it's very simple. You pop the phone the right way around in the case first. Lock it securely in place as you would as if you was going out somewhere. Move it around a bit so it's kind of in a neutral position. And then get your pair of scissors or knife. I used a knife and then cut a circle around it. So you're never gonna get it absolutely neat and perfect, but it will fit neatly. And this one here is on my road bike. And when I first did this, I actually went straight away onto the bike, clicked and there it was. But as I was trying to film this, it took me about two, three times to get into place. And I guess that Depends how neatly you uh, get the hole into there, and of course, it moves around in the case. So take, so take a little bit of practice, and yeah, they literally did that this evening. So, so yeah, this has not been tested out in the wild yet, but I will be taking it with me this weekend on a ride in North Wales, and it's expected to rain. So, I'm going to put this through its paces. Well, I can imagine it's going to be quite effective. Look, all the way on there, it's all it's going to be out of the way. That is pretty much watertight. But as with all hacks, don't go blaming me if all goes wrong. So just to finish this video, I must say I'm not sponsored by Yoshi in any way, but I will put a link to this particular waterproof case down in the description below. I hope you found this entertaining and interesting and hopefully it'll work for you. And like I said earlier in the video, I need to uh, go out and give it a test drive out in the pouring rain. So uh, expect a video in the future. Okay, that's it for me. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.